This is a solid seven out of 10. I love Payway back home, but the chicken is just not the same at the airport. I got an eight hour flight coming up. I hope this fried rice was a good decision. Yay. Forgot my power adapter, so I gotta buy one for $18 at the airport. So that's awesome. I brought this gallon jug with me though, so that has to save like 20 bucks. Finally boarding the eight hour flight. Been trying to figure out this TV for a minute now. And it took me a while to realize there's a remote on the side of the chair. So yeah, it's a great start to the flight. Got this whole row to myself though for the eight hour flight. So that's like better than first class. That's like zero class. Got this little meal, pretty clutch cause I'm hungry. Finally arrived at the Amsterdam airport and I'm hungry again. So let's go ahead and eat. Damn. This is a nice view from the hotel. Now we've been at the hotel for a couple of hours. I immediately fell asleep. I slept from like 11 a.m. this time to 4 p.m. You're not supposed to do that when you get to Europe, but hopefully I can fall asleep tonight. Day two in Scotland, pretty tired. Slept till 10 p.m. So I got like 11 hours of sleep, um, but about to go get ready for practice and get some work in and then explore. Got the practice fit ready. Ready to go work out. Got some 460 meter sprints today. All the way that way and see where it leads us and then go to Hogwarts. This is gonna be clutch since I can't stay up. I'm so tired. Wow. What are you doing, coach? Is it low-key awkward that they're doing the press conference in the middle of the track? I was really sure if there was no press conference. My vlog. Alright. Back in my time, I want it twice. You did? Yeah. Fucking my You got a lot of back in your time. What you tell the guy today when you said the guy was talking too much? You said back in your time. What happened to him? The light is awesome. We beat him so bad that when he looked at us, he can't even look at us anymore. Coach, do you think I'm tough enough to survive back in your day? No. You <laughs> think <laughs> you can't eat the food in the hotel? I think I'm going to survive. I've been eating the food. This is just way better. Day three or four practice. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. What? Hey man, too fresh. Fresh. You gotta run in those, man. All They're right. cool, huh? This guy. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You guys, this is a rare occurrence that's happening right now. We have Eileen Frantic, who's going to hand the baton off to his athlete. Look, you said back in the day, coach. You gotta do another one. You gotta do another 
one. No. All right. Take two. <laughs> Okay. Now when you start to feel it. Where you take it, man? <laughs> so you're pulling it right here, right? Yeah. I go. I take it and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach. Coach, I can run. <laughs> How's your hamstring feeling? I like to, I like to tell you this back in my day. <laughs> I was a four limit run. <laughs> so that's the one. All right, take three. He just did good, better. Now this is for best. <laughs> Back in his day. That's it, man. That's it right there, man. You see that? Mm-hmm. World, I'm coming back. World, I'm coming back. <laughs> Once again, how's your hamstring? <laughs> Did that quick, honey? How you feel, Matthew? Not good, you know. I think they should add a mixed relay with two coaches, two athletes, two world athletics. That would be pretty that cool. That would be hilarious. That would be really cool and that funny. Would be, that would be a laugh. That would be like, so funny. Like imagine like splitting like 44 and then having to give it to coach and him splitting like trying to push 60. Like, oh, Dang, you don't give coach no more credit than that. I mean, based like, on that. <laughs> well, he didn't warm. He didn't warm up. All right, 50. I'll give him 56 at best. Wow, that's right now. That's tragic. That's tragic. No, How do you feel about tomorrow? I feel good about tomorrow. I'm running third leg. I'm feeling speedy. You know, I got some good good handoffs going, and we ready. We ready to go out there and bust open. Got the relay uniform. Picked it up. Uh, we usually get the relay uniform about like a day before we run, uh, cause it's not in the kit. It's a special uniform, and man, that's always exciting. So, I'm ready. Ready to go tomorrow. Wow. Trying to come wide on the outside and the Kenyans all over the place. Belgium from the USA from Kenya. And the incoming runners crashing to the ground, but the four still on the track are okay at the moment. There was all sorts going on there at that changeover. F1 was so focused on racing, on finishing as far, highly as he could. He was on the inside looking for a gap, and then he spotted that Tauta, his teammate, was out further around the track, and Tauta just moving ahead of the Schmidt, the 800 meter specialist at the moment. How Trevor Bassett got that baton to Matthew Bolling, I'm not quite sure. I'm sure we'll have a look at a replay, but Bassett used every ounce of his core stability there, I think, to stay on his feet long enough to give Bal Bolling the baton. And Bolling has run a fantastic leg here. Thibaut de Schmidt is the national record holder over 800 meters, but he's ran a 400 meter personal best indoors this season and using that pace here. He did though, so will draw four or five win here in the first heat. Let's hope Bassett is okay over on the back straight at the halfway point. I think it's the same indoors. Prelims are done. Success got in on the fastest time, got the qualification, and now we're resting and getting ready for the final tonight. Matthew. Yeah. Tell us the news you just received. We'll be running a second leg on the um on the final. See these people are selling. Yeah, he got. Why did he just actually? We thought he was over there. Google. People are selling these, man. <laughs> Come on, on about. And they also got. Tokyo Olympic silver out. Noah Lyles in this quartet. Patterson Bailey Bowling will be the anchor, and it will be Noah Lyles on that leg number three, and they will have the lead coming to the exchange zone. Patterson to Bowling, the U.S. in the lead. So Matthew Bowling, who all of us are familiar with, with his fantastic high school exploits in the hundred and the long jump, but of late has been running a ton of. 400 meter runs including at the u.s nationals and so far he's done a good job of keeping the lead for the united states on this second leg that is one of the borle brothers dylan borle who is in the chase mode behind matthew bowling who was a sensation in high school went on to the university of georgia and trying to get another medal for team usa here in the four by four and let's now await this exchange matthew bowling to noah lyles 
So Noah Laz has the ball. What's up, vlog? Finish the race. Chilling. In the flesh. Yo, yo, yo. We're going to get our medals. Our medallion. Very, very good looking. Coach, I have a good for you. What it is, Matthew? Open it. Oh, it's a silver. Matthew, I like gold. Oh, sorry, I couldn't provide. <laughs> so, will, you, will you accept? I would gladly accept. I'm good job. Thank you. Good job. Dessert taste test post race. Yum yum. This one's good. I'm trying this one. I don't now. like lemon. I like lemon. I'm trying the like cherry one now. Alright, now this one. Wait a minute. Um, I'm kind of waiting for you to judge me before I try it. It's fine. It's pretty good. It's not as good as this, though. I don't like it. Alright, judgment time. Best, second best, third best, Ew, fourth best. Hey y'all, it's 4.45 in the morning. We had to take the 3.30 a.m. shuttle to get to the airport. So I didn't get back to the hotel till about 11 because I have processing and all that stuff and the medal ceremony. Hopefully I don't fall asleep and miss my flight. An arcade in the airport is crazy. This is in the Amsterdam airport. It's crazy. This is the most beautiful croissant <laughs> I've ever eaten. <laughs> Just hold on, we're going home. Come on, come on. Are you eating her? Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. All right, y'all. Landed in South Carolina, back in the U.S. About to go pick up my boy Moose. I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous because I've been gone for a week and like, he better be excited to see me or I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna be real sad. Smoothly. <laughs> hey buddy. Hey buddy. Moose, come here. <laughs> Oh, you're so good to see dad. Mm, I missed you, buddy. I missed you, Moose. Did you miss me? We back. We're so back. Right? Moose, are we back? The boys are back in town, right? This bump. Damn, I thought you were actually about to do it. <laughs>